going to handle the ever-growing calls for a second independence referendum. Oh, but Nicola Sturgeon wants a never endum. You know, it's go it's going to be. Uh, I want to have a, a a vote until I get what I want. That we had our vote. Supreme Court are deciding on whether she can hold it. So it it may be a never endum, but it could become a reality that that Rishi Sunak will have to handle. No, no, the the, the court's not going to to say that uh, we can have a referendum. It's simply not going to do that. But what? It's not the time. What we need to do is concentrate on getting ourselves out of the cost of living crisis. We need to concentrate on getting ourselves uh, back into uh, in, into economy which is working. Look, Scotland. Look, let me just tell you what Nicola Sturgeon's done here. She's got we pay higher taxes in Scotland than anywhere else in the UK because they put a penny on income tax. Now that actually has meant they're taking less money than they were before. You know, they have no idea what to do with money. The idea uh, of an independent Scotland with their independent economic plan that they produced, which was just a joke. It was a joke. So bad, actually, that the, the nationalists are fighting themselves right now about it. So, look, it's not going to happen. We don't need to have a referendum. We don't want a referendum. The majority of people don't want one in Scotland. Don't get fooled. And I, I want, this is really important for your viewers. Don't get fooled into thinking that the SNP speak for Scotland because they do not. We don't want independence. We <laughs> actually you want that. to work together. Well, she, she would argue, if she were here, that there's a, there's a majority of pro-independence parties within the Scottish Parliament. Just before we let you go, do you think that um, uh, Rishi Sunak was right to bring Suella Bravman back into the Cabinet, even though she broke the ministerial code? Well, actually, so, so it's interesting uh, on that. So Suella Bravman was right to, to resign. She did break the code. But in 2015, Nicola Sturgeon did the same thing. So, I, you know, uh, th there's a lot of hypocrisy going around. But, but and sort of, Rishi Sunak, Rishi know, Sunak knew that she did. now recruited Nicola Sturgeon. It's more about Rishi Sunak saying he wants a cabinet that's going to prioritise integrity and honesty and trust. So uh, in that case, uh, why, why would he then reappoint Suella Braverman? So Suella Braverman was right to resign, um, but Rishi Sunak's reappointed her because she paid the price for her mistake. But the other thing we need to be clear about, the cabinet we have is a unity cabinet. He is getting people in from across the broad church of the Conservative Party. And actually, that's the best way of governing, to be able to get people from different points of view in your cabinet to have those robust discussions. And they're your lieutenants to go out and sell it to those different members of the party. The Conservative Party needs to be united now. And Rishi Sunak is doing that. And look, up in Scotland... The Scottish Conservatives, and I'm, I'm maybe talking a little out of turn, we were really happy in our meetings. We were skipping out of our meeting. Uh, we've all got smiles on our faces because we have a leader that we are all united behind uh, and we are all very happy with Rishi Sunak.